Hello again, it's Laura at Tree Tops, and we thought today we'd do a video on sensory seeking children and how these children can present. So when we look at sensory seeking children, um, we know that there is a problem within their sensory integration process. Most of the time this is due to them under-registering sensory information. What that then means is they have an innate need to crave or seek more sensory input. This can then help them to regulate and it can help to aid their attention and to aid their focus. So we know as humans we all seek out some form of sensory information. So if we have been sat for a long period of time we might start to fidget, we might shift our posture, we might get up and have a little movement break because this then helps us to sort of reset and um, focus for longer periods. This is exactly what the children are doing when they are seeking out um, information but often they do it in a bit more of an obvious or sometimes chaotic way. So how do they seek out information? A lot of children seek out lots of movement, so you might find that they are constantly on the go, and um, they might jump, spin, uh, climb, generally they just don't really sit still. They might seek out lots of touch, so they might fiddle with everything, um, get really close to other people, they can't really keep their hands to themselves. They might seek out oral information, so chew on objects, lick surfaces, items in the mouth. Um, and they might also seek out sounds, making noises, or smell different textures and surfaces as well. So there's different ways to help um, sensory seeking children. The main thing we want to do is try to um, give them sensory information, sorry, sensory activities and strategies to do that's hopefully going to calm them down and get them into a bit more of a ready state. So what we want to do is give them movement. Obviously they're craving this and the body needs more movement, but we need to make sure that we don't overstimulate them. So if for example, they went on a trampoline and they did bouncing for an hour, it's quite likely that this is going to get them into an even more heightened and lively state. So we want to try and reduce the amount of movement they do, or if they do do it, trying to make sure it's a bit more controlled and structured. The main thing we want to do with sensory seeking um, children is give them lots of heavy work activities to do. So a bit like what I mentioned in the last video, um, heavy work is anything that involves resistance. So it's pulling, pushing, carrying, um, stretching, so anything with weight. Um, and we know that heavy work is very organising and generally very calming for children. So if you can structure heavy work activities within the children's day, so if you can use things like weight balls, lycra, hand weights, giving them stretches and things to do, um, giving them things to do at home, a bit like I said in the last video, things like gardening, digging, um, activities, animal walks, anything that's going to involve um, weight bearing through their arms, um, pulling and pushing, hopefully should have a really calming effect. You could try some deep pressure activities with them too if they will tolerate this, so um, things like big tight bear hugs, deep pressure on the shoulders can be um, really helpful as well. And also just trying to give them structure within their day, so hopefully throughout the day they're having um, a bit of a routine and things to do, they're using their hour walk to get some movement, but also following that with some of their heavy work activities that have stated. So hopefully these activities have been helpful and you'll be able to try some of the strategies again this week.